Today I'm going to show you guys how to install our tough panel on your printer. In this demo we're using the K1 Max. This also applies to the K1C and the K1 and any other machines where it is a direct replacement for. And the first thing we need to do is remove these screws from the hinges and then we're going to take the handle off the factory door you can also see how dark this is inside the printer here one of the other benefits you'll get from going with our tough panels is perfect clarity because these are actually clear doors now i'm going to take the last screw out make sure to hold the door so it doesn't go flying On a lot of these printers, you'll notice the hinge just comes off. Same thing on the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and install one of the hinges on the door and then put it up into the machine. And then we're gonna secure the second hinge. Now, depending on the door you have and the printer model you have, there may or may not be little grommets on the actual screws. There will be a sticker on the door letting you know if you reuse these grommets or not on the K1 Max and the K1 and the K1C. We do not use these rubber grommets. I'm going to take these off the screws before I put the new door on. Make sure you peel back the protective film on the corners of both sides where you're going to be putting screws in because you won't be able to get the paper off once the screws are in. With the paper peeled back, go ahead and put the first hinge on. Now my other hinge is in the printer already, which is where we want it. I'm going to peel back the paper on this side now. Let's go ahead and put the hinge in its spot up top. Now, if for some reason you can't get the bottom hinge in, go ahead and loosen the screws up just a bit because the door can shift in the mount here. Now we're able to put the other screws in. If you look here, we do have some play in how we can adjust the door. We want to get the handle on here, and then once we figure out what position the door needs to go in to get an even gap all the way around, we can then go ahead and tighten these down. The handle on the K1 series just comes off with two screws, and you will reuse the rubber grommets on these. Now we have the original handle off of the original door. Go ahead and peel back the protection film on both sides, and then we can put the handle on. Now we have the protection film peeled off. We can go ahead and put the door on. Make sure you put the metal plate on the back side like this, and then put the screws through the back and into the handle. Close the door. And you wanna make sure that you have a roughly even gap across the top and the sides. Once you do, hold it in place and tighten down the hinge screws. Make sure the door swings nicely. Go ahead and peel the rest of the protective film. So the door's all installed. You can see how much clearer these are. They hold their shape very well. They keep the heat in. And you don't have to worry about if somebody slams the door hard, the whole thing shattering on you. So if you have kids or pets in the area where your printers are, this is going to be really nice because you don't have to worry about tons of glass shards flying everywhere if your door breaks.